Good morning. A uh, quick video on how to set up your document for annotation. Uh, take two. Uh, so I pulled up the poem. I have already pre-pasted the poem, but I just wanted to look here. If you're at the poets.org website or another site like that, and you're looking at the poem, if you just copy and paste it here from the web page, you're also going to end up grabbing all these little social media icons to the side, which um, then you have to go in and delete those. It's not a big deal, but kind of a, a little bit of a pain in and there's an e another way to do it that makes it a little more um, just text, plain text, right? So if you go to print, that little print icon, and then you select all of this text from there and paste it, then you um, won't have to delete a bunch of stuff. So I've already uh, pasted the poem, and I chose as I walked out one evening as my poem to paste here. And I'm just showing you how to set up your document for annotation. So I, you know set up my document, I gave it a title, the title of the poem or the title of the poet plus the poem that you're working on. And then I hit select and command V to paste my poem here. And now I can highlight certain words. And I can add any highlight color. I might have different colors for different things. Maybe all the yellow colors are um, you know, references to water and all the blue is metaphors and all the yellow is alliteration or, you know, or the green is alliteration. You can use color coding for what it is you're looking for in your poem. You also should always have a comment and you can add comment a few ways. You can go up here to comment. You can go here to add comment. You can go insert comment, just like most everything else on a computer. There's many different ways to do things. Um, and so I might write water image. Always make a comment next to anything you highlight. In your poems, you're looking for your responses, reactions, your conversation that you're having with the poem. And also you're tracking a number of literary devices and what effect you think they have in t on the poem, meaning how is it that you think all of those metaphors are adding something to your experience of the poem and what you think it means. All right, that's my video on how to set up your document for annotation. You could also print your pages and write on them, but you would need to have a printer to be able to do that. So this is how you can set up your documents for annotation um, if you don't have a printer.